Hello, I'm Matt Mon, and I hope you're having a good day. If not, I hope I'll get to make it just a bit better. This is going to be a shorter tutorial on importing an existing Minecraft profile or install from CurseForge to Modrinth. Specifically, this video uses the PageMaster mod pack as an example because the Curse Launcher will prevent it from launching properly due to a Java configuration bug. But you will have your own reasons and your own packs. This method should work with any CurseForge pack. You're going to need both the CurseForge and the Modrinth apps installed. Links for both are in the description in case you're missing one. The first step is to make sure that you have your mod pack of choice either installed or built in the CurseForge launcher. In my case, that is the PageMaster mod pack sitting right here. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're actually going to want to click on the pack. You're going to click the three dots up here in the top right hand corner. You're going to go to open folder. In here, you're going to want to take note of two things. The first one being the full path. In my case, it goes into the C drive, users, my name, CurseForge, Minecraft. And the second thing you're going to want to take note of is this right here. This is normally the exact same as the instance name. But sometimes if you have a lot of packs installed or if you've done a lot of modifi modifications to packs, it'll have like a number appended to it or a random number or it'll be just kind of scrambled. This is why you take note of it. Once you have confirmed both the path and instance name, you can close this and you can close your CurseForge launcher. We're going to load up into, into the Modrinth app next. Once Modrinth loads up, you should see a screen similar to what I do now. Click the, click the plus symbol in the bottom left hand corner. Once here, you're going to want to import from another launcher, so you're going to click the import from launcher button here. Modrinth does support a number of launchers, but in this case, we're going to be using the CurseForge launcher. Click that. And this is where we confirm that path that we were talking about before. See, this is the exact same path. And you'll see that I have a PageMaster profile name down here. If your profiles are not appearing, that means that this path is incorrect and you'll need to go back to your CurseForge launcher and double check it. Once you have confirmed the profile that you want to import, simply place a check mark beside it. And you click the import button in the bottom left hand corner. This process should be very quick as you aren't actually downloading anything, you're copying from an existing file in your drive. Once that bar disappears, you're good to go. Click the play button and you're free to have a good time. Thank you very much for watching and uh, don't forget to touch those like and subscribe buttons. Have a good day.